welcome back to what they even call it Olympic Diaries episode number five I think hey so my time here at the Tokyo Olympics is done it's over the hype is done time for me to go home Tokyo 2020 done massive thank you to everyone for all the support not just this year not just through the games but over the last nine years that i've been representing jamaica it's been the most crazy journey from 2012 dreaming of an olympic games to make it in 2016 and to make a second now this year it's just been the most phenomenal journey and i genuinely wouldn't be able to do it without all the positive energy the great comments pushing me forward no matter how my competitions went up or down good or bad I always got positive energy and that always pushed me through and made me get better and now I feel a responsibility to make sure that I'm not the last Jamaican diver and I'm going to make that happen, I'm going to put some energy into that alongside my own diving career and make sure that I'm not the last um, but in terms of diving there's definitely still more to come from me, I've still got more to give, I'm looking forward to the Commonwealth Games already, looking forward to Paris 2024 so keep on backing me, keep on supporting me and I'll keep on doing you proud, thank you. As you can see, fully packed, all ready to go. Even got the duvet from the bed I'll take home with me. Competition was okay. Didn't 100% go to plan, but it wasn't a disaster by any means. I made it to the Olympic semi-final again, twice in a row. So maybe it'll be third time lucky for me to make it through to the final. I'm pretty happy with all my dives. I'm pretty happy with where they were in training. It just wasn't my day just wasn't my day but 
it's okay because it's bigger than me. It's not just about my achievement or my success. It's about building the exposure, getting people involved in diving, getting people to understand diving, getting people to want to dive in the Caribbean, in Jamaica, and making sure that there is something that follows my journey in this sport, something positive, something good, something that gives young kids an opportunity to find success in diving the way that I've found success in diving, to travel around the world, to make friends around the world, to have opportunities in life that they might not have found otherwise because that's exactly what I've made, been able to do from my diving career. If it wasn't for diving, there's plenty of things that I wouldn't have access to I wouldn't be able to do and it makes me super grateful that I can do that but also that I can now try and allow that to happen for other kids. I head home today but it's been a wild ride it's been a fun journey I didn't maintain the Olympic diaries as well as I thought I might because I've just been enjoying the environment whilst I've been here so much it's been one of the best times of my life I've had so much fun I had so much fun. It was an absolute pleasure to witness Tom and Matty win their gold medal. Not good enough. Not good enough. It's not enough. Not good enough. It's not enough. Not good enough. Not enough. It can't be. It's good, but it's not enough. It was an absolute pleasure to watch Jack win his bronze medal.
boy. And I hope Tom goes on and wins another medal in individual. I'm really sad that I can't watch it from here, but I'll definitely be watching from home. I've done a lot of filming of different elements of the games, and I don't know how it's going to work out because I didn't make a plan or anything like that. I just kind of filmed some random bits. So I guess the only thing to do is put it all together, make a little montage for the memories, and I hope you all enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for following me, thank you for supporting me. I'm honestly, I, the gratitude is almost crippling because without it, I wouldn't be as positive as I am. My attitude is a reflection of all the vibes I get from people around me. So, that being said, on to the Commonwealth Games next year.